What, what's a choice provision? This thrilling episode is brought to you Brad, name the voice actor. Johnny Mahoney's phony baloney. This time, it's, it's real. <laughs> huh. I can't. Phony baloney is made with 100% genuine products. Just wait. I can't believe it. Charles Martinet, and now it's time for Runner 3. Wow. Huh. Welcome to Runner 3. Just featuring like, prominently just like that huh charles martinet like n like naming himself and everything the other time i loaded this up it said hi i'm charles martinet and you're not welcome to runner oh, three they, they did multiple takes yeah that's fantastic it seems like they cycle through stuff that's uh, really good yeah so commander video is back i i i really like commander video what about command girl video i i've never met her before she well seems cool she has a bow in her hair yep that's how you can tell she seems cool too uh, Commander Video is a cool dude. Yeah. I think. Oh, let's go to Foodland. Let's go, let's go to Foodland. So yeah, this is Runner 3, not like, Bit Trip yeah, Runner form, 3. Formerly Bit Trip Runner? Uh, did, they, did they lose that name? I believe they did. I believe okay. this is a, you know, same studio. Yeah, although uh, they changed their name also. Choice Provisions used to be, uh, it's killing me. Gai Gaijin, Gaijin Games? Sure, yeah, actually... They I were Gaijin they something. There, there's a Gaijin Games and a Gaijin Works, and I forget which one they were. The Meaty Treaty. How about that? How uh, about the voice of Mario saying, The Meaty Treaty? I don't know that I've ever heard his real voice. I must have heard it at some point. Did you know he was in the movie The Game? What? I was looking at Charles Martinet's IMDb Wait, page. is he an actual, is he a prolific actor? Uh, you know, he's, he's in a lot of things. I thought he did a lot of stage. Uh, yeah, I... I went deep in his Wikipedia page one day. Um, Is there a lot there? Yeah, it, it was interesting. Apparently, uh, they, the original line reads for Mario was like uh, way different. And he's like, hey, how about if I do it like this? And then he did the classic Mario Man. voice and they hired him. Is there any of that other stuff out there? Like, I want, I want to know what Nintendo's idea for what Mario should sound like. Yeah, I do too. Before he remade the character. Oh, I'm on the wrong path. Uh, Okay, oh. the reason the reason I'm not ta I'm talking about Mario and not necessarily so much what you're seeing here is because as far as I know it's bit trip runner. Like it's it's another one of those. Uh, I don't I don't want to, you know. I, I actually so I, I didn't play two. This, this, so let me roll back. This is a game. It's an auto runner. Okay. Uh, so you're just hitting a jump and I am duck jumping button. and down to slide. You can kind of cancel your jumps with that yep. with that down slide. So like if you need to hit the ground before hit, making another jump, you can uh, do so. How do you pick which path? Uh, the bumpers. So oh okay. Uh, I, so there's some stuff that I know that is unique to this game, and I think the paths are one of them. I see. I didn't play two. I, I played one. I think I I played one, and I may have played some two, but I forget. Uh, but basically, when you go into a level for the first time, you have one path, and it's actually like walled off with a physical wall that you will run into and die if you touch it. Oh, so you are you replaying this level? I am just to kind of show off an early so, so one. You don't you don't get that path until you come back. Yeah. I see. Uh, the, the, well, next, the alternate path. Yeah, we'll look at an alternate path later here. Um, but yeah, so basically, like you, the the pickups are usually in tune with the rhythm. Yeah. So if you're listening along, you can kind of figure out when you need to jump. It's just a it's a pleasant game. Yeah, it's it well it's pleasant until it's very well. Yeah, I guess it gets tough. Uh, I'm only in world one. I'm at the end. I, oh, I missed the gold. I'm at the end of world one, and it's already getting pretty difficult. Not w without even diving into the side levels that you unlock by oh, oh. collecting a certain amount of gold. All right, let's, let's hop out here. Uh, Are you going for uh, like a, a rating? Uh, yeah, like so at the end or something. There's a hundred pieces of gold and one hidden sticker in every level. Uh, you can kind of see it grayed out there under the gems mm. if I haven't collected it. Uh, uh, let's go to one that kind of changes things up here. I think I think it's this one. Yeah. The game has done a good job of changing up, like, not only speeds, but perspectives and stuff like that. Uh, because it is such a straightforward yeah. game. Like, you, you just, they're on their third one. Need to start kind of expanding the concept a little bit. Yep. 
Also, runners just yeah, here we are. sort of not in vogue so much anymore. Yeah, I feel like, you know... Like they were big on mobile when mobile first that's, yeah. got big, and then they kind of went away. Like, look at this, this oh, yeah, guy okay. in the back yeah, here. This is, wow, man, Foodland is... Uh, I don't know. We're, uh, Not we're as appetizing as I was hoping. <laughs> we're trying to save Foodland because somebody wants to dread a or spread the dreaded wheat germ plague. Mm. Um, there's a, there's a little bit of little funny cutscene stuff at the start of every world, and I assume end. I don't know if I'm getting ahead of ourselves here, but I read on the Steam page before this. Uh, Charles Martinet is in this game in more ways than one. Yeah, he's a playable character. Yeah. I've seen screenshots of it. I have to see that. But so far, I haven't seen it in the game that at has, all. That has to be a late game thing, right? It has to, yeah. Like, that's, what you, <laughs> that's something you save. Um, yeah, so far, I can, I can show off the shop stuff, but you can only buy cosmetics with the gems, which are what you're collecting on the secondary paths of those okay. levels. Got it. It's like here. Oh, you know that's cool, and, yeah. and you do keep a lot of the same. The, it, Ooh. the timing is. Oh, so you're actually having to cancel jumps here. Yeah. So, okay, that's cool. I don't remember if you could do that in the others. Maybe that may have been like a core mechanic all along. It's been so long I forget. But yeah. uh, you can also hold it to kind of float a little bit. Huh. Hold jump. Okay, this looks cool. Yeah, they they do a lot with a little bit. Uh, which is kind of what you want out of a game like this. Yeah, this looks like weirdly demanding, but also chill. Yes. Or you can just kind of space out and play it. Yeah, totally. I, I was I was watching like replays of a Dota tournament while I was playing this, just because, you know, for the for the moments there is plot and, and talking and stuff, you can easily. Oh, I missed it. I missed one. It's kind of one. Of, it's like one of those autopilot games, you know. Totally. Like it's it's way more just gut instinct than than thinking. Even, yeah, and even when you're on a harder one, like, you can breeze through the part that you know, and then you get to the part that's hard. Right. Uh, or if anything, I find that I do way better in games like this if I sort of, like, turn off the conscious part of my brain. Yeah. Uh, let's try one of the gem runs. What's up with that? Run Is that guy vomiting? I don't know. I himself? thought this level was about to be, it was about, was going to be about that guy, but it was sadly not. Um, there's also jump pads, which are introduced later, that you have to hit up or any direction on, because sometimes you're jumping down to them on the wall. Uh, so you'll have to hit, like, right to jump off of them. Are there any, I'm guessing there are no differences between Commander and Ms. Video? Uh, I believe not. Okay. I think her name is Command Girl Video. That's pretty good. Which, yeah. Um, For your not Miss Pac-Man is very good. I wonder, uh... I wonder if the later characters have different abilities. I'd swear that's how they did it in the other games. Ah, damn it. I forget, though. I'm uh, getting it mixed up because, like, Commander Video was in Super Meat Boy. Yeah. Like, he's been around in different spots. Also, they've made, like, six other Bit Trip games. Yes, that's right. There is. I, so, I can't remember who did what exactly with the character, but... The Milky Way. Let's go with level one here. I haven't I, I haven't done any of these gem runs. I've just been trying to mainline it, so I don't know how much more difficult they are than the original runs. Can you get to the shop right off the bat? No. Or you have to. There's a it, it, the the fact. So there was like three. So you can unlock different costumes, different trails, and different effects, like little stars around you or hearts or something. Uh, and there were only three of each, which makes me think that each world has its own. Oh, yeah, okay. And so maybe that's where you, like, in the last world, that's maybe where you get your Martinet. Very Mario Odyssey style. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, right out the gate, I can tell that this other path is just a little trickier. This is the first level, so they're not gonna throw too much at you, but... These little jumps here... Ugh, man, the foreground yeah. waterfalls that... Seems like they are intentionally messing with you. How dare they? Um, I'm enjoying the soundtrack so far. It's yeah. a little samey in, in some levels, but you know, it's the, it's pleasant enough. Oh, I just realized those trees are made out of uh, cantaloupes. Fiber dad. That's a very good. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, 
A lot of the art in this reminds me of uh, Ren and Stimpy. Okay. Ish. Uh, huh. Especially the running animation. Oh the man. Logo. Yeah, I know. Such complicated feelings about Ren and Stimpy now. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Um, Space Madness will always be close to my heart. Oh yeah. And then you, you see, you start to get the trail. Yeah. As you go, and the music, as you pick up the boom boxes, the music, like more layers come into effect. This just seems incredibly pleasant. It is. I'm gonna have to play some of this. Yeah. Uh, it's 30 bucks. Uh, it comes out May 22nd, but you can uh, pre-order it right now for 15% off. Yeah, it was like five bucks off or something. Yeah. This is the Steam version, right? Yeah, it's also coming to Switch. Okay, is it uh, just, just those two, you know? Yep. Wow. Uh, well, uh, it's coming to like, uh, GOG and uh, but itch, no, but no other consoles? Yeah, no PS4, no Xbox. That's surprising. Okay, got some gems. So let's head to the shop. I like her, I like her beauty mark also. That's cool. Yeah. It's good stuff. She's got more attitude. Yeah. Video's a little more straight laced. I can tell. She doesn't play by the rules. That bow is not regulation. Uh, so how close are you to the end of this world? Uh, I believe the tenth stage is the last, okay. and I'm on one eight. Oh, I see. Okay. And was hitting kind of a wall. Oh, well, like just literally a, and a <laughs> difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! So it gets hard that fast. Uh, oh, I don't know how to get these coins. Hmm. So looks like you can buy, you know, oh, different, different trails yeah. cost different okay. coins. Okay. Accessories. Yeah, sure. Hat. Cool. Fire. Mustache. Let's buy this uh, sock hop. That's pretty pop. good. Yeah, I'm into that. Oh, cool. And you can rotate. Whoa. Commander Swimio. Was he on fire a second ago? Uh, that was the effects. Oh, no, like he was orange. Like oh. In a costume. That one. Yeah, Commander that? Miss Vidi. Oh. Huh. I don't like it. Weird. Um. Let's go to the one I'm on. Yeah, yeah, I want to see, see a hard level. I was, I was gonna see if you could maybe get to... I assume there's a boss at the end of this or something. I, but, but, but if you're, if you're <laughs> up against the wall, then maybe we'll just check this out. And, yeah, uh, and, and so you see us run there in the bottom corner. That was, that was what I was talking about. Any idea how many other characters besides Charles no, are in this? they haven't really shown that off. Okay. Oh, bounce pads and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So I have to hit up, and then I have to hit right when I hit that oh, wall. Oh, okay, yeah. I just, uh, I always have a soft spot for... Oh, huh. Oh, weird. Are those like... Okay, oh, you oh. can juke? Okay, I oh, see wow. now. I was having issues with it before. I thought just either left bumper or right bumper would switch you, but it's like left bumper is foreground, right bumper is background. Uh, this is the first level that introduces... Oh, I hate the jump pads. <laughs> I'm very bad at the jump pads. Uh, yeah, this is the first level to kind of feature freely running back and forth between the two. Okay, yeah. A little more depth to this than I was expecting. Yeah. It, you can tell that they knew that they couldn't just make another... They wanted to make another runner, obviously. But they needed to add some more, and I really... <laughs> oh, that wasn't even a hard one. I'm just always here for oversized level designs. Oh yeah. Anything where you are tiny in a giant household setting. How did you feel about the Toy Story Super Nintendo game? Um... I haven't played that one yet. It's bad. This is really hard. Too busy playing Home Alone. I really miss the way too hard for kids movie kids tie-in games. Super, you don't really get those anymore. Super Star Wars type stuff. Yeah, Excuse or oh. or I, I remember specifically calling the Nintendo hotline for help on beating the first boss of the Jungle Book yeah. for Super huh. Nintendo because it was so tough. Yeah, Jungle Book seems like maybe one that should not be insanely difficult, but then again, <laughs> everything was insanely difficult. Back then. Fin fish errors. 
you have a little bit of a... You can't jump right away when switching. Oh, interesting, okay. Utterly delish beef milk. I was like, beef milk, that's horrendous, but then I realized that's... I mean, milk is already kind of beef milk. Maybe stir in a little beef oh. broth. Make it savory. Huh, yeah, okay. All right. I see. Uh, uh, sure, just, let's check out one more level okay. here. Um, uh, as you progress, there are these levels that are gated uh, by total gold in the world. Oh, is that just a side level? Yeah. You can't. So okay, that's not. I've unlocked this first one here. And I was unable to beat this when I first tried, but huh. maybe maybe going back it's a little easier. Whoa. But you'll see right up. Yeah, oh, man. first of all, aesthetically, oh, that looks way cool. different. Holy crap, yeah. Yikes. Ah, I gotta slip under that. That that jump cancel move makes this seem ten times more entertaining than it would be otherwise. Yeah, like I having, think it, it, having that level of control to like barely fix your mistakes. <laughs> Looks like if you just fell off and ducked there, you would slide under that thing? I think I need to jump... No, there's a well, gap under there because yeah. it's a gym, yeah, so if you just like... Oh, no. I... Huh. Okay, no. Maybe you have to cancel out of that fall faster or something? Like, giving it that depth of being able to barely fudge your mistakes, seems like this would actually be really cool. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try oh. this. Alright, one more. I just, uh... I like the attitude of these games. Yeah. Attitude is tough to do. It, they've right. got good attitude without, like, oh. in your face -ness. How would you get all of three of those? I jumped. Oh, if you slide under and then like jump at the right here angle. here and then slide. I see. Right. Oh, so okay. you got to just barely miss that first ledge. I'm not going to go for that. I'm just going to go for the win. Okay, I, I see how you would do it. That's... Huh. Damn. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. It's tough. This game's hard. This, yeah, okay. this is the first bonus level. Yeah. Wow. Well, and there's, huh. I think, three of these in each world. Any idea how many worlds? Uh, if we go back to the main menu. So right out the gate, I'm gonna say at least three, probably four, maybe five if you count the moon. Hmm. Okay. I'm calling Super Mario Odyssey rules where you yeah. don't you don't prominently show the moon if you're not going to the moon. Yeah. I right, sure. Right. Uh, I believe that. You got some rankings, leaderboard stuff. Uh, well, I'm glad they made another one of these. Yeah. It just, it just makes me feel good. Is there another mode? I can't remember. Let's see some extras. Shows? Stats. Oh, okay. Well, this is, this is the, what I was talking about with the... Having capably concluded another awe-inspiring I like these. Adventure, Commander Let's Video let and play Commander for a little bit. Video now find themselves vacationing in the famously flavorful world known as Foodland. I like fake puppets. Their adept adversary. Like <laughs> puppetry for the sake of moving like a puppet, even sure. though it's digital. The light of the rapturous rap scallions, the commanders are now sunbathing beneath. Charles Martinet has a good regular voice. Yeah. Of Nut Beach. Suddenly, I'm surprised years and years of doing the shrill Mario stuff and like talking like Waluigi for a job seems like it could very easily fuck up your vocal cords. Does he do Waluigi? He does all the Marios. Are you serious? He does, yeah, he does Mario, Mario, Luigi, Wario, and I believe Waluigi. I don't think I knew that. It's not long before uh, they find themselves face to face with an amicable and Yeah, his IMDb page is extensive. Really? I, like, I'm, I'm surprised more games have not used him, but maybe I just haven't. He's totally like in tons of RPGs and really? stuff as like very minor characters. I, uh, wow. I thought he just did Mario and that me was too. it. Me uh, too. When, when I heard him in this, I was like, what? He's in other stuff? And then, yeah. I always, I always, I might be totally wrong. I always thought he was like a serious thespian who just <laughs> fell into a video game role. <laughs> but maybe I'm wrong. So yeah, yeah, that, this is cool. I, it it I, is. I have, to play, I have to play some of this. For for thirty bucks, I think they they definitely have enough variety in the level design. The uh, skill curve is there for sure. Yeah. I, I fancy myself not bad at video games, and I am already having trouble. So that's yeah, promising. On, on world one, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it's really cool. Uh, good charm, good good voice, good aesthetic. Thanks, Commander Video. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Yeah.